Volleyball rules. A lift or not a lift? For that is the question. The term lift is not found in any volleyball rulebook, NFHS, NCAA, nor USAV. The illegal hit signal is often confused with lift due to the underhand motion of the signal. Volleyball has evolved over the years from a technical sport to a rebound sport. This allows athletes to make great athletic plays, which leads to longer rallies, making volleyball more exciting to play and watch. Just because the player's hand is under the ball at time of contact, it does not make the contact illegal. Officials should be ruling whether at time of contact with the ball, it was prolonged contact, also known as a catch and throw. Does the ball rebound from the player's hands like a ball bouncing off the floor at time of contact? Just because the player follows through after contact does not make it illegal. Prolonged contact and visibly coming to a rest are elements of illegal contact as found in all the rule books. However, there are numerous prolonged contacts during a rally that are acceptable and legal, including attack follow-throughs, dumps, underhand passing, and back sets. Just because the hand is under the ball in an awkward position does not make the contact illegal. Instead, referees should be ruling whether the ball was caught and thrown. Let's watch some videos of awkward but legal contacts that officials tend to incorrectly call a lift. Don't be quick to call those underhanded, awkward contacts illegal. Rather, let those long rallies develop. However, do call those clear catch and throws. <laughs> 